Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the gradient map adjustments to recolor an image in Photoshop. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. I have an image open here in Photoshop and I've applied a gradient map adjustment to it. This is the original image. It had already been processed in Lightroom, but I wanted to see how I could perhaps approach it from a different direction. So what I've done is applied a gradient map to the image, and we're going to see how to apply a gradient map, how to adjust it, and exactly how gradient maps work so that we can understand how we would work with them with our photos. So let's get started. I'm going to remove the layers that I have in this image so that we can go back to how the image looked when it came into Photoshop. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to actually add the gradient map and I'm going to show you how you can affect it and tweak it. So we're going to do it as an adjustment layer and the reason for this is that then it can be edited. So I'm going to choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer and then Gradient Map. I'll click OK to apply it as a new adjustment layer. And the gradient map that I'm getting right now is a black to white gradient. And the way this works is that the colors on this end of the gradient are being mapped onto the darkest areas of the image. So anywhere that this original image is dark is going to be turned into sort of black and anywhere the original image was very light, it's going to be made white. So this is sort of like a black and white gradient adjustment, but you don't have to use black and white. If you open up the panel, you'll see that you have some color options and you've got more that you can get to from here. Clicking this icon gives you access to some additional ones and the photographic toning ones are some new ones that were included with the most recent versions of Photoshop and you'll probably want to open up those. So you just click photographic toning and just click append to append them to your list. I'm going to cancel out here because I already have my photographic toning ones. Let's just select one of these tonings. Well, actually let's select one that has some multiple colors, this one here. And you can see that we've got some dark black here or dark, very dark red that's being applied to the very dark areas of the image. But then we've got some pink. So some of the darkest but not black areas of the image are becoming pink. And then we've got some blue in the middle here. So some of the mid-tones are being colored blue. And then the lighter areas, this sort of creamy color. Now you can edit these gradients. I'm going to click this and I'm going to create a new one based on this. So I'm going to type a name for it. I'm just going to call it Helen and click New. And it's added here to the bottom of the gradients palette. So I haven't actually changed the one that was shipped with Photoshop, but I'm going to edit this one so it works a little better for me. I would like some more darks in the image, so I'm actually going to move this dark slider here across so it's starting to pick up some of the really darker areas of the image a little bit more than it was before because I kind of like these sort of dark vignetted corners. But I also like this blue and I'm not saying quite enough for my taste. So this is the blue gray sort of area, but you can see here that it's transitioning from cream to blue very close. So this is a very small transition area, which means that only a small portion of the midtones in the image are actually being colored blue. And then click and drag this slider out. You'll see that the mapping area that's going to blue is much larger. So we're actually seeing a little bit less pink and a little less cream and a little bit more of this bluey gray color, which I actually really like. So I can tweak this gradient as it's being applied to the image, being aware that this is the darker colors in the image, these are the lighter colors in the image, these are the mid-tones, and I can choose whatever color it is that I want to apply to these various areas of the image. Now once I have my gradient set to exactly what I want it to be, I'm going to save it. So I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to click OK so that it is applied to my image. Now I can also affect the image by adding a black and white adjustment. I'm just going to click on the original image. I'm going to choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer and choose Black and White and just click OK. 
And you can see that this black and white adjustment layer is having absolutely no effect on the image. Well, perhaps a little bit around the edges here, but practically no effect at all. But with the black and white adjustment here and the gradient map on top, look what's going to happen if I start making some adjustments using these sliders to the black and white. What I can do is pick up areas of the image that are these colors, for example, the rider's jacket here, and make it lighter so it's getting red applied to it, or make it darker. And so I can control the colors that are mapped onto these areas of the image by adjusting these black and white sliders. So this black and white adjustment is giving me the ability to make some minor changes to the underlying image, which is affecting how the gradient map is being applied. You can see that the darker I make these green areas, the more that a specific color is being applied to it. The green areas are light, so they're getting the yellow applied. Now if they're mid-tones, they're going to get that bluey gray. If they're really dark, then they're going to start seeing some of that pinky red coming through. And we can affect the image or affect the application of the gradient map by just remapping some of these colors to a slightly different tonal range. So I think that you'll find you can get some really interesting effects to your image really, really quickly using the gradient map feature in Photoshop. And of course, if you're applying it as adjustment layer as we're doing here, you can come in and select different gradient maps from the collection that you have, but also adjust the gradient maps themselves so that they work more effectively for the image that you're working with. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website projectwoman.com for more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.